I struggle with things that are easy to others as breathing, like breathing, like answering the phone or sending that email I have been meaning to for weeks. I panic when I am asked out to dinner, even if it's with someone I really want to see. It's hard for me to commit to anything and when I do, I overthink it until my brain tells me I have made a mistake. Like a rat caught in a maze trying to claw its way out. I don't know why I am like this. People ask me why I can't do anything without jumping through a thousand thoughts like hoops. But sometimes I wonder if my inability to function in the real world is really such a bad thing. I wonder if that's why I spend so much time sheltered in my imagination. And because I cannot live in the real world, I create worlds to belong to me. And I wonder if the very thing that I have always been told is my weakness has all along been my strength. Felt yourself resonating with these words? I did. When I read those words for the first time, all those feelings of confusion felt perfectly penned down, like my thoughts had been constructed into this perfect logical sentences and it finally made sense. I finally had a way to explain my anxiety through these words to the world. These words are from the book Love Looks Pretty on You by Langley. I know some of us feel these words more strongly than others, but we all can relate to it in some levels. This is how reading helps me to ground my thoughts and lets me know that I am not alone to feel these thoughts. It lets me know that somewhere, someone is reading these exact words and thinking about all those sleepless nights that kept us awake, overthinking and overhurting. So even while being alone, it doesn't let me feel lonely. It doesn't let me feel like I am the only one carrying this unmeasurable and unexplained hurt inside of me. This is why doing journaling helps you connect with those unexplained emotions and feelings deep inside of you. It can be hard to dive deep into that sea of emotions where you can find so many things, both the goods and the bads. But why should we deprive ourselves of the goods with a fear of some bad storms on the way? We as humans have mastered amazing feats both scientifically and technically but when it comes to explaining ourselves it is amazing to see how simple minded and lost we all are at times. It is why despite everything I feel miserably at explaining these thoughts to you.